everybody welcome back for another video hope you're all doing well and you all are having a great day to start things off it looks like we are might be having a close to a black monday event on march 9th 2020 now i first of all i want to give um bradley kines from investment perspectives he has a new youtube channel check it out the ledger so he uh, he brought this to our attention, this article. Dow Jones crashes so hard they might close the market, close the stock market. Now, they have different circuit breakers to kick in to save the market from going all the way down to zero, like back in the um, Great Depression when it was just a bloodbath beyond proportions. I just did a, uh, just uploaded the video uh, a little while ago talking about um, the best time to buy is when they're blood on the street. But I think we're getting closer and closer to a global reset because you can't be having this kind of market uh, downturns and not take advantage of it to do a global reset. And also with this beer flu, it is just affecting every market around the world. Now, let's look at crypto prices right now. Now, um, Bitcoin is at $7,888. Ethereum is $204. And XRP is at $0.21. Cents. Now, this is, this is just ridiculous. And... You know, I, I hope some people have some reserves. Now, we can't tell the future, but what what happens uh, if this gets drawn out? What happens if this beer flu just goes pandemic? You know, Friday, they just, I, I believe it was Friday. I'm out here in Los Angeles, California, and they did a uh, statewide emergency for the beer flu. Now, you know it's called something else. I call it the beer flu because I don't want to get no copyright strike or my video taken down, uh, depending on YouTube's mood and, and um, their attitude for the day. So I'm just trying to be co-pathetic <laughs> and, and just uh, say how I feel. But uh, check this out um, from um, Cryptopolis breaking the fed announces this morning it will increase the daily o overnight repo operations to at least 150 billion from 100 billion a 50 percent increase that's insanity you know um how, how can you keep on printing this kind of money if a regular person um printed uh currency they would they would be slapped under the jail it, it it's just it's just no way this economy is going to sustain without XRP ripple stepping in and resetting everything let me um show you this from uh goopoo uh w goop i hope i'm pronouncing that right um messing up his name but it's only a matter of time before the they abolish paper money it's you un, yeah it's unsanitary for me biz bone yeah i'm stumbling over my words i'm excited today i'm like man this is just crazy yeah. and it's like six o'clock in the morning for me <laughs> the morning not even started yet. Let's see. What they abolish saw. paper money. You know, it's unsanitary for one. I think it's just only a matter of time before they abolish paper money. You know, it's unsanitary for one. I think it's just only a. Yeah, you got all the strippers putting them down their pants and all this other stuff, and you know, um, not not to mention, you don't know where it's been. And different people don't clean their hands. It, it, you know, they did a study. They just checked out some 
some random bills and found feces and other kind of germs, you know, it's just crazy, you know, and I, I could see their point, you know, eventually uh, abolishing money, uh, also in um, another country because of the outbreak, uh, in some cases they're burning money, destroying it because they're not, they don't want to take the chance of spreading the um, the beer flu. Here's an, here's another a little kind of like um, blast of the past, if you will. Glenn Hutchins, uh, technology investment pioneer of Silver Lake Partners, a thirty nine billion dollar private equity firm. You know, uh, this is him uh, talking on cryptocurrencies and where where he, he sees um, the industry going. Crypto, uh, another one of your interests, and, right. and you've kind of uh, gotten into that, but we've just seen a huge meltdown over the past 12, 15 months. Are you still a believer? So um, if, you would, if we'd been sitting here together in 2002, we probably were, um, mm -hmm. you, you would have asked me, the Internet, we've just seen this huge meltdown in the last 12 to 15 months. Are you still a believer? <laughs> right? Yep. Um, uh, and so the answer is yes. Uh, now, the, the, the digital currency solution uh, is, the, is the most important technological advance I've seen since the Internet. Uh, it has the capacity to do lots more, but it has, certainly has the capacity to enable us to move anything of value around the world at the speed of light at no cost. The, it has three components. It has a token of value, which is called the Bitcoin. It has a accounting mechanism, which is called the blockchain. But the most important piece, which is one that people aren't focusing on, is the protocol. The underlying protocol by which we agree to do these, to conduct these transactions. So you use a series of protocols every day, and you don't even think about them. You don't think about the internet protocol. You don't think about the simple mail technology protocol. You don't think about the file transfer protocol. You don't think about the high-text translation protocol. I go through them, right? You just, you, you just make use of the technology and the protocols make it work. The people who really understand what's going on with digital currencies understand that putting these protocols in place, the blockchain protocol, the Ethereum protocol, the, uh, XR, the Ripple protocol, and then enabling those protocols to cause transactions to occur. Uh, and then those, tra and those transactions can be defined very broadly as not just moving same things of value, but anything that's got an information content uh, is extraordinarily transformative. The focus on the value of the token is distracting and uninformative. Wow, that is just uh, deep right there because you need the protocols in the back end to make things work. Now, right here... The real XRP boy, a friendly reminder, fans, Hoddle. Now he he brings this um, article from the you know the Ripple Insights. Let's check out what he has highlighted, shall we? For cryptocurrencies and blockchain-based systems to reach their potential, they themselves must be trustworthy. That and that means much more than formal security of consensus on a distributed ledger. The next one, which is really positioned of all the digital assets to a lower bank's liquidity costs in cross-border payments. Orgasmic FUD. Can XRP bridge the old financial systems into the new one? David Swartz, that was a part of the vision since Arthur and I built issued assets and launched the gateway strategy. ILP continued, and that's Xpring is working on the new ideas too. Even if you think cryptocurrencies will take over, we will, we still have to get from there to here. Let's see. The next one. I am David Swarth, Chief 
chief crypto graphic cryptographicer cryptographic at Ripple AMA. This has been an amazing year. I think we made great progress validating XRP's use case within RippleNet. We have the technology, we have the vision, we have the partnerships. The challenge for us is to maintain focus and keep exulting, executing, excuse me. We're right at the point where our full vision is being a reality, becoming a reality. Wow. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the volume, the liquidity index is every day it is, is getting higher and higher. Now, even though we're, we're seeing blood in the streets right now, man, hopefully, if everything is timed right, once the markets just crash and burn and, and just go up in a puff of smoke, just before someone decides to jump out the window, they flip that switch and save the day. All right, everybody. Um, I'm still trying to wake up. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Uh, but I'll probably have this go out in about another hour because I just, just released a video. But in the meantime, I would love to hear what you guys think. Please leave a comment if you um want to say whatever you want to say please to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time this is the xrp agent later